Buster Rush of Bubba Roundtree Outdoors is another day. We're going to hit them here in just a little bit. This is our second meeting, our third meeting, then we get ready to go. <laughs> it's cloudy, so it's still a little bit dark. I can't remember what was about right there. Well, that guy that says when he shows up, said the women's yeah, going to be coming. Well, he's the only one I know that I get a phone call and want to meet him, sir. So. Oh! Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. like your daddy. We, we've had several girls that hunted with us that the boys would be wanting there. Oh, yeah. That's been a long time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Go going to the cabin on the mount. <laughs> going to the cabin on the mount. Cimarron Roadside or... Go to the Cimarron Roadside and go to the mount. All right, boys, we're going to our third and last meeting place. This is actually my first, second, third, fourth. <laughs> fourth. <laughs> okay. Now, this is piece of number five. Uh. <laughs> Good morning, folks. He Stokes, Bubble Round Tree Outdoors. Back here at the Sumter Mount. And uh, last time we drove this, we jumped a herd of them, so we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. All righty. Captain Buster of Bubba Round Tree Outdoors. We had something them out. Should be a good day. It's got a little bit of drizzly rain. Wind blowing a little bit. But anyway, we're fixing to turn them loose. I'll cut you back on when we get started. Morning, y'all. Well, it's me, Joshua Bubba Round Tree Outdoors. We were on another dog drive again. <clears throat> Hunting something out this time. It's a little misty, so let's hope it just stays misty and don't start pouring down. If not, I'm about to put our cameras up because I got nothing to cover them with. But, uh, walked in with David Ayer on this side of the drive. We're hunting over here. So, hopefully something comes out. It does. Hopefully, I get it on camera and hopefully, I kill it. Talk to you later. Hey guys, this is uh, Phil Cambites with uh, Bubba Roundtree. Um, October 7th, we're hunting uh, Sumter Mount for the second time this year and uh, see if we can get you some good footage. Turn them loose, turn them loose. Come on here, 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 I think I might have got that one on video. <laughs> There's all the way up to my knee, bro. Ah, there we go! There we go! Oh, never mind. Shoot if you think. Just jumped one and went straight back toward the paved road. Why he's on him? Good shooting. He's shooting the house. Why he's on him? We need to get them dogs away from them. Dang it, bro. Dang. Oh. Woo! Oh. 
Oh, I saw the tail of it. Apparently, we jumped another one. Dang it, hey, we need to go back this way. There might be another one laying around. You go that way. I'm going to keep on trying to walk on this line. I'm going on that. Out of money. If he goes to the left, son, I got him, son. Yeah, there ain't nobody near us. So, Opie's to our right, that's about it. Woo! Woo! Where it, where it dips down, that's where the thickest part is. Hold on, time out. You ready, Opie? You need to get where you sit up bottom. Back. You know where they're going? Yep. How the mighty dang. We gotta put some on that pay road. They get up every time. Looks like my man driving now. Yeah, we can jump shoot now. The puff has got on that deer too. Yeah, every, every single dog went on him. I heard some new voices in there. Mm. Where you at, Heath? Right here. Oh, I see you now. It's Robbie Hammond and them down there. That's Robbie Hammond line down there. Kill shot.
about that on the ground. All right, they just jump right behind me here, going away from the drive. That's your father that shot Green. Yeah. 
I heard it. The dang GoPro fell off my head. The yeah, gum radio came out my belt. Red Stokes just shot at a big buck and said he was coming back in this area here, so I'm going to be ready. He shot at a big buck I heard. He's coming back this way, so. That's what he's saying. That song gonna sound like a buffer reel getting up. You hear it getting up? Yeah. Oh my God, he got it right beside me. I know. Hey, baby. Like, so I heard it. I think it sound like a horse getting out of there. The only cool. shot I would have had would have been looking at all I seen was heat. <laughs> I would. I could have shot the first one. I would have peppered that house. Go ahead, David. He's going up. It's a blessing for Opie killed a buck. Huh? Opie killed a buck. I bet. Where's Opie at? Hey, Dick. Look at the deer up there. Woo! Yeah, you and Beck will have a time driving that thing. <laughs> no, you and he's going to have a time driving that thing. I think Opie Which Dick one was that that we jumped? Dogs running or y'all jumping? Huh? Flipping out. Nah, me and Beck jumping. We, we took ten Three. steps and one got up and went straight back that way. Loaded, loaded to the gills. They, lo they loaded to the gills. You ate him up too, didn't you? He said, long as I pay for everything, I can get it. This is where he fell dead. Yeah. And I had somewhere to keep it. That's the first one you killed. That's eight prongs. Nice. It's like mine. About seven. Oh, seven. Ah, oh, I got all my money. All right, folks, we're wrapping up the first drive. We jumped the herd on them again. Hope we get a nice little seven point. And we'll have a bunch of other shots. Stay tuned for the second drive. Well, here's my ride. Video? Yeah, I think so. Did uh, I they still ain't found Randy's, huh? I could have got mine on video, but Pat took the GoPro from me. So, you did shoot though. I did. Okay. Twice. Twice. Oh, <laughs> kept, uh, kept the kept the deer in the drive. Uh, that's, oh yeah, that's a good story. We always we always use that, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> I feel good hey, about it. So. It's my deer right here, bro. Go ahead. Liar! <laughs> Charlie, come up here and tell me the story on this one. Oh, sh <laughs> tell me the story. If it ain't no story, say, ain't no story. Ain't no story, just slipped out. He slipped out. How far is he from you? No dog run. About 40 yards. Shot him right down. Was the grandson with you? No. He was 
These were great. Still going out there. Oh yeah, hot and heavy. Here's a couple of visitors we had today, and your name, sir? Kevin Swartz. Jeremy Swartz. And you say you saw a doe? Yes, sir. But she just laid down, and I bet you a dollar to a donut. You could have eased out there and she'd have jumped right back up. Oh, she's thought, still out there somewhere. Yeah. I thought yeah. about it, but. Yeah, I know. I was on my stand and I wasn't leaving it. Yep, I know. And then I called him. I said, hey, I don't even know what we're shooting. He said, well, we're shooting, I guess. I said, okay. You got your tags, ain't yes. you? Yes, yeah, brother, you got your tags. You shoot. Oh, yeah, we got Yeah. It. I wanted to shoot a, shoot my dog. Right, did you shoot? I jumped one. I jumped one and shot. I missed it, though. Oh, you didn't get it? No, sir. Well, it looks like several people did. Lord, Lord. Well, let's see. Josh killed some, didn't he? Uh, yes, sir. He killed one. He's coming for you. I think he killed this one, I think. Yeah. Did any of y'all miss? I didn't even shoot. I wish. I wish I would have missed. I didn't shoot. <laughs> I, I instructed the deer where to go to. Where did you tell them? Straight to Josh. And they did what, exactly what you said. Yeah, he's laying right there on the ground. So we're good to go. <laughs> this here is the carpenter expert. Yes. Hey. Anytime you need a uh, dog pen put together, really just give me a call. Do <laughs> not call this man. <laughs> <laughs> Do the not. doors might not close. Right. Won't nothing work. Right. <laughs> Randy Cage says the biggest buck you ever shot at dog hunt. Oh, my Lord. Hold on. We'll find him after well, the second drive. Tell me the story. The biggest buck I ever shot at dog hunt. Listen, Robert, I got two packs. He got one pack. That's three packs. We came from the pond building. behind you. Behind me, okay. Like, yeah, the standing there facing the drive, down in the little bottom down there, back standing. And I heard some turn like that, and he was running at me. He slammed on brakes, and he wheeled and went away from me and had two pops in the road. I shot him twice in the road, and they cut in the woods, and I shot him. And I couldn't get on him going up through the pine, the trees. And I could, But he wasn't moving fast. He was moving real slow, but I just couldn't get on him good. I could see his horns in there a little bit, but I couldn't get on him enough to shoot him. Went in there and found blood, and it looks like what? I mean, you know how you have to look for blood? Yeah. Walk. Yeah. He's just bleeding bad, but and then what how far did y'all track it? Over 200 yards. And he was still bleeding like that? And then he quit. Oh, he quit. But I have never seen a deer bleed like that and just quit like that. I mean, evidently, or he turned away that we didn't know he went or something. He was, he was definitely outside the ears. I'd say he was, I mean, he's that wide. 20 inch wide. Yeah, he ain't, his, his tines aren't tall, but the, he was just real wide. He's not a big deer, he's not a 200 pound deer. Certainly he was looking at horns instead of shooting at a deer. Well, I couldn't help but look at him when he was going. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I started shooting at him. And I knew I was in him because when I shot him the first time, I seen his, he almost slid his butt down in the road. Mm -hmm. You shoot number four, you put a lot of bucks Jazz didn't find him? Jazz yeah, went out of, yeah, Jazz went to where we couldn't call it back. Right. I mean, the deer's got to be dead between the hip turf yeah, road. Pulled the tree, he's going down to shot a I think I got to go back in there and look for him again. Yeah, I would, I would too. Yeah, yeah. he's the biggest buck I've ever shot at dog. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look out yeah, to this Not all the time. Well, y'all, first drive's over. <clears throat> Granddaddy killed. Josh Air killed. David Air killed. Uh, God, who else? Brent Cole killed, and Robbie Hammond killed. I think I got everybody, but I ain't really sure. But we're about to start the second drive, and this is where I'm at. Third stand are in. So, hopefully something comes through, and hopefully I kill it. All right, folks, we're finna start the second drive here at something Mount. Now I'm on the big pile line this time. It's a hot stand right here. And, uh, I had a bunch of deer killed the first drive, but uh, we'll see what happens this drive. Stay tuned. All right, Captain Buster above around tree again. We on the second hunt now. I like my stand. But you look at this little field right next to the road. So hopefully the deer feel the same way about it as I do. 
Alright, I'll cut you back on as soon as they turn. <coughs> Alright, they just said turn them loose and they have turned them loose. Second drive. Oh, you can see something die. I'm gonna find out. She's in the power line right now. Should I shoot her? Nope, never mind. I ain't shooting that one. Go ready. Day that thing is small. Bet you finna see her, don't shoot her. She just crossed. Whopping 30 pounds. Don't you shoot that thing, babe. I'm not. I'm not kidding. I could have laid it out, son. <laughs> David Stokes just killed that one, folks. I could have killed a baby. Alright, go ahead. I'm right on the tear gate. Alright, give me the story now. Yeah, so just walking through, I guess a couple of guys missed him and just came running straight on. As soon as he saw me and the dogs, he went flying off to the to the right. So. And you shot to the left. Yeah. <laughs> give me your sob story. <laughs> Deer uh, was moving very fast, very quick, and uh, <laughs> first two shots was trying to catch up with it. The third shot, I had a dead red, and uh, my gun uh, jammed on me and uh, chucked it out. And got another one in there. And got one more shot on it. I think it's the same deer from the, er the first drive, so it's picking on me. So, <laughs> I, uh, so hopefully somebody got him. But uh, if not, did, so, did somebody shoot behind you? Yeah, I think they missed him. Missed him too. So, but uh, well, that's right. Jake, Jake yeah, shot. Jake yeah, Jake on. shot behind you. It uh, it, it had a head start on me. They moved. They moved quick. Maybe that's the front coming in, moving a little bit quicker today. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. But, uh, Blame but it on hey, the front. So, uh, hey, I love it. Large day. I said I'll take it. So, yeah. But uh, we'll try again next time. Yes, we will. Back on deers eating combos. Alright, folks. That is the end of the day. We're going to go pick up the doe dead so she's kill. And, uh, shot cut a lot of deer today. But, uh, we'll see you next time here on Bubble Ranch Outdoors.